So this is Lisa Wallington trying to use her walker to get from our apartment out to our truck. Now you see how her legs don't exactly work. You see the short distance she went before she had to sit down. And now this is her trying to get out the door. First time in a while she's actually walked this far and obviously you can see it's taking its toll. Yet disability says she can work a full time job. No nope. no problems. So for anybody else out there that's dealing with stuff like stuff like what she's dealing with, mobility issues or Disability trying to say that you know, oh, yeah, you're, you're perfectly fine. Go to work Start taking videos like this showcase people and yourselves having to struggle Just to move She asked me to document this normally I wouldn't really do anything like this because Yeah, but this is what she wanted Okay. I love you. Obviously, I'm going to open the door for her. See, show you how all oh, how she has to get into the truck. Yes, she's the one that drives. I do not. It's the only thing she really can do is drive. No, we don't have an explanation as to why her legs are doing what they're doing. But this is what it is. You all right, honey? I'll be okay. What's your pain at right now? It's a ten. Just from that little bit of walking, that was the pain that she's in. Now, normally she's still pretty high pain level, right around an eight, seven and a half at the least but I mean come on there's our apartment door a short distance My legs are cramping. all right anything you want to say if you're trying to get disability and they won't get listen as soon as you can get to a doctor. I know some people don't have insurance, some doctors will, are willing to work with you. <laughs> and now the hips are acting up and sciatic. So, this is an every single day thing for her. This isn't just a one time instance. This is. This is every day. She can't even use this damn thing. Though it's excellent. When she was able to use it, it worked great. But this is the first time she's actually done this in months. months. Disability has told me that I'm not disabled enough that I can still have gainful employment, but with my physical stuff. I would need both hands and both feet, to, both legs to be able to walk and carry stuff. With the mental aspect, if when I deal with people, I get overwhelmed and I end up having a breakdown. I've had that 
several times in the middle of the grocery store with my 11 year old, 12 year old son. It's a fight. And the only reason that they are denying me is because I'm 35 and I'm not old. I'm not trying to make this political, I'm not, or anything. I'm just, I'm frustrated because I can't work. I can barely, my husband's the one who usually does our household chores. I recently was able to clean the bathroom sink, but I normally don't even have the energy to cook. And it sucks. Alright, let me close the door so we can get the heat going. Yes. I'm going to take this thing back inside. Uh, So, this is what I did now. I have to carry said walker back inside. Again, short distance. Her wheelchair that she normally has is in the back of the truck because that's what she'll have to use now. But again, short distance. She had a struggle just to get that far. But she can work. <laughs> 